My overall promise to the people of Oklahoma with reference to repeal of prohibition was twofold, and it's the same now. And that is to provide them that clear choice between enforced prohibition and repeal. And I stated that I had no intentions of trying to tell the people of Oklahoma how to vote on repeal, but rather to give them the opportunity to make the decision themselves. Uh, and I submit respectfully that I've done nothing up to now and have no intentions in the future of doing anything inconsistent with that promise with the people, but rather to implement that promise and commitment and carry it out. I point out in my letter here, Bob, that it's high time somebody in the state of Oklahoma ought to start representing and be a spokesman for the state. It seems to me that ever since this bill was passed back in 1953, which took the Selected Investments Corporation out from under the jurisdiction of the State Banking Commission, that we've gone out of our way to protect what I say are the real culprits in the Selected Investment Corporation and have not attached enough importance to representing the people of the state of Oklahoma and after all, that's what public officials are for. That's what they're elected to do. I don't know why they want to be so particular about insisting that this prosecution be in Oklahoma County. I don't really think Mr. Barry is insisting. I'd probably be glad for the court to hold that the, that the venues in Hartford County take the money off his bank account. But in this case, there is no foul speed in. There is no payment of the money in Oklahoma County because the payment of the money was in Laverne.
Well, it would look like he hasn't actually changed his stand, but he never, uh, this must have been his intention all along. Until after the general election, he never had said uh, anything about this being the number one program of the legislature. Uh, our people, multiplied thousands of them, have voted for Mr. Edmondson on the basis of this promise that it would not be submitted to the legislature. And uh, uh, I, don't, uh, I don't know what it is unless it would be that he just took his promises too lightly. Uh, I hate to uh, make it any, any more than that. He made a promise that we're on a statewide hookup that has been taken too lightly by him uh, in carrying out his promise. Well, we plan to use this statement in every way that we possibly can to get the legislators off the hook. It isn't fair for the governor to make a promise that he's going to do something and then put it on the backs of these legislators to go against the wishes of their people and uh, to try to, to help him break his promise. It isn't fair. 